Hey everyone, uh, Justin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the flocking plugin that I made for Unreal Engine 4, it's called Flox, uh, to generate uh, flocking behavior in your games. Uh, so, for example, you can do fish, you can do birds, you can do insects, uh, whatever really kind of moves in these schools, I guess, will work really well with this plugin. Uh, so, I guess for the first part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up fish exactly like this and have them moving around your your level as you want them. Uh, so for this tutorial I'm going to leave things rather vague in terms of setting up materials or creating blueprints etc. I'm going to assume that people already have a general understanding of how to use Unreal. Uh, so that being said there is no C++ required to make something like this so yeah let's jump into it and we'll start making some fish fly around. So basically all I have here is an empty demo level. Um, you can see there's just the room, player start, post processing. There's nothing special going on here at all. So to add our new fish into the world, all we need to do is drag in this Flux world actor. You can find it by searching Flux in the, uh, in the class browser here. And it's just Flux world. So just drag one of those in. Uh, now the Flux world is pretty much the only thing you'll need to be interacting with in this plugin. Uh, it manages all of our fish and it's going to handle their settings and handle spawning them, etc. So you can see when I drag this in I get some options here. GPU sim, if I want to run it on the GPU or the CPU. Uh, max neighbor checks, this is how many uh, neighbors each fish will consider for the flocking algorithm. Uh, freeze generally a pretty good number. I find that if you set this too high, um, you'll have more realistic looking flocks, except it will also be more expensive. Uh, I've got some options for some spawn points and material values that I'll probably go over in a future tutorial. So the first step that we want to do is set up a new mesh. So we can just add a new mesh by pressing the add element button. And we get this little um, bunch of data in here. So you can see that we've got a static mesh. Uh, I include a couple of uh, meshes for you to use. I think your yeah, fish variant one is pretty good looking. Uh, so we do that. We add a new material. I have a material over here set up. It's literally just the texture sample going into a mist of color. We can plug that into that. Uh, we do want to cast shadows. And we've got this custom pivot here. Uh, this is to offset your mesh or rotate it. Sometimes you get meshes such as skeletal meshes that are offset by 90 degrees, so you might need to uh, rotate them. Uh, we'll probably see it in a future video uh, when we get to some animated mesh uh, implementations. Uh, so that's pretty much all that we need to do to set up the visuals. Next we go over here and we add a new settings. So this value here is called settings. I refer to these as flocks groups. So if you hear me say groups in the future, that's what that's referring to. Uh, so we can set the number of fish that we're going to spawn. Let's go. Let's go something higher. We'll go like ten thousand. Uh, we've got the mesh index here, which maps to the index of the meshes in here. So we want number zero. So that's fine. Uh, we've got some spawn settings. You know, you've got some options here: world, actor, location, spawn point. I'm uh, just going to leave it at the world, and we've got a spawn radius here. I'll set this to 500. So this means that my fish will spawn at the world with a 500 unit radius around it, which they can spawn in. Uh, we'll leave it with random rotation, and we might go over some more of these settings in the future videos. Uh, now we've got these values here. These are your main values that you're going to be playing around with. So. We've got minimum and maximum velocity. Uh, I'll set this to 200 and 400. So this means that they'll spawn with between 200 and 400 speed when they come into the into the world. Um, so they'll have 200 units of variance in their speed there. We've got min turning, max turning. This is how fast they can turn towards towards where they want to go. Uh, so this is in degrees per second. So I think 600 is a pretty good value for this. Uh, we've got min scale and max scale. I might just tone these down a little bit because the fish mesh is pretty large for this room in particular. Uh, now these values here, alignment, cohesion, and separation. These values determine. Uh, these values are pretty much the the flocking simulation. 
these make up the entire flocking simulation so these are the ones that you're going to want to play with uh, if you set alignment very high it will make all of the fish kind of want to move in the same direction as each other if you set cohesion very high this will make the fish want to move towards each other so if you have like say 10 fish in an area uh, they might find the fish around them and want to move towards them so you'll get them kind of grouping up in the same spots um, so if we set this very high you might see the f our fish kind of clump around in balls around the scene uh, then we've got separation which is the opposite of cohesion so this will make them want to move away from each other so you'll notice that separation is set larger than these other two values um, that is because we probably don't want all of our fish clumping up in one area we kind of want them to separate a little bit um, and not really clip through each other too much so that's why the separation is usually set higher than these other two values uh, I've got goal flea and restriction that I'll go over in a future tutorial uh, now I've got these three radii down here separation alignment cohesion radius this is let's let's say that I have you know a fish on my on my world here and I have another fish on this light bulb over here uh, separation radius is set to 100 so that will mean if there is a distance less than 100 between these two fish then the separation will start to kick in so so these radius here determine when these values here will start to start to take effect so if I set my separation high and my separation radius low that means that when they're closer to each other they'll want to move away from each other more so you can kind of play around with these values and you know get the desired effects that you want uh, and I will just mention there is one value up here called cell size this value here you want to set it to pretty much the the largest kind of value that you're gonna have in these so at the moment it's set to 500 so we might just set it to like 500 up here this is more of an optimization um, it's used for for determining which fish are around each other and if you set it too low these these radius here won't actually work so you just need to make sure that that's kind of covering the area that you've defined in your groups uh, next we've got prefer non-vertical movement if you check this they'll always want to move kind of in a uh, horizontal way they will try not to move up and down too much so you might use this if you're simulating like say birds they don't tend to fly up in nature too much um, but for fish underwater I don't think it'll really make too big of a difference so we'll leave it off in this case cool so that's all that we need to do to set up a new flock now we can hit play and we can see that our fish spawn they're kind of flocking around and they leave the level immediately so we got half of what we wanted we got the fish spawning um, but they left the scene so to fix that we have another very important class that we're going to be using a lot called flux volume actor so you can search that in the class browser drag it in and you'll see that when we drag this in we get this um, yellow ball uh, so these volume actors there's three different types Goal, Flea and Restriction. I'll go over Goal and Flea in a future tutorial. Uh, restriction is the one that we want because any fish that are assigned to this volume will not be able to leave its area, essentially. So our room is, it's not a sphere, it's a box, so we'll set it to a box. Uh, we've got some extents down here. I'll make this fill our room. And just position it, yep. Nice, so that kind of fits our fits our area in here. Uh, we can see that this is set to all groups. I will go over some more stuff that you can do with these values in a future tutorial. Um, but for now, this is all that we really need to do. So if we hit play now, we'll notice that our fish spawn, they're flocking around, and they're staying inside the level. You can see that they're kind of like, they're pretty much just smacking into the face of the wall and they're just stopping their movement immediately uh, so the plugin does have a solution to fix this and I'll probably go over that in the next video but for now this is all that we need to set up our our, uh, our flocking environment and get some fish that look
pretty realistic as far as I can tell. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one where we fix this issue and we'll probably go over some stuff with uh, goal and flea volumes as well at the same time. So, I'll see you then.